Welcome to another official SEMrush.com video. My name is David Black, and I'm really excited to show you a new feature that we've recently added to the website. For the first time ever, you have access to Facebook PPC Advertising Intelligence. You may have read a few articles or posts about it, but now it's live, it's fully functional, and I want to show you how it works. Let's start with my favorite example, Zappos.com. We'll start with the Ads by Domain report. As you've probably guessed, accessing this report will detail Facebook ads relevant to a given domain. Since our Facebook ad section presents data on a worldwide level, we can omit any regional database. SEMrush immediately displays data on the domain's Facebook ads campaign, such as number of advertisements, how many days they've been seen, and impressions over three different periods of time. The colors in this column coordinate with the impressions graph to the right. As you can see, blue to the overall impressions, and orange to the unique impressions. Click on either of these titles in the legend to toggle the metric on and off. On the far right, you'll see a pie chart for geo-targeting. You can click on any of the titles in this legend too to toggle its view on and off. Below, you'll find the real heart of the data. Here you can choose between two tabs. Now the advertisements tab is open by default, but choosing landings will open a list of landing pages associated with the ad and clicking on one of these links will take you directly to the actual landing page. Back in the Advertisements tab, you can analyze copies of ad text, their relative images, and on the right, the percentage of overall impressions for ads by this domain. Let's use this ad for Keen's Shoes as an example. If I were in competition with Zappos, I may be interested in why they're advertising this weird looking shoe so heavily. Clicking on the title of one of these will open a page containing more in-depth information about the ad itself, including dates of when it was first, last, and the total number of days the ad was seen. The graph below indicates the unique and overall impressions, as well as the geographic targeting. As we can tell by the graphs, they ran this particular ad for one-third of the year, and then there was a sharp drop in early to mid-July. Maybe there's a reason why. Now that I'm interested in ads for Keen Shoes, I'd like to see if anybody else is advertising for them and if their ads are following the same pattern. Now that's where another report really comes in handy. Ads by keyword can be used to identify ads pertaining to a specific keyword or phrase. We'll enter the term Keen's Shoes and pull up a list of advertisements sorted by their average unique hits per week. But you can sort them further by one month or three months and choose how many results you'd like to be displayed on the page. We can see that domains like Comfort One, Zulily, and Nextag all have ads running for Keen Shoes. Once again, clicking on the ad itself will show you statistical information you can use in conjunction with Zappos ads to see if there's any correlation. That's the beauty of this tool. Let's wrap this up by taking a look at the top ads. The top ads report is exactly how it sounds and doesn't require you to perform a search. The left hand side of the report lists the top worldwide advertisements by overall impressions in one week while the right-hand side of the report lists the top advertising domains worldwide sorted by overall impressions in one week. You have the ability to change the filters in each of these reports, either by time frame or geographic location. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and as always, if you have any questions about SEMrush or any of our other products, send us an email or give us a call. We're always happy to help.